So there you go, guys. I'm down here at Camera Flakes. And we're going to do a little spot of fishing. Just put my hooks on. What's really bizarre about this, have a look at the crowd. Learn to fly. That looks like fun. Oh, that water looks so good. I'm hoping we're going to get a bit of a shower, but it seems to be the opposite. The wind's picking up and breaking the clouds up a bit. Last time I came here, I didn't catch anything. I did spend two hours chasing a catfish. Only because I've never seen an active catfish along the edge like that before. But the few flicks I had didn't look promising. Let's get my first bite. I wasn't even expecting it, it was, um, I was thinking out loud, or actually I was thinking to myself, that I should be letting this sit on the bottom and work it slow, but then I thought I want to get up there. So anyway, as this process of mine was going on, I wound it across to the back of that one there, and then I just dropped it. And he smacked it, but he flipped the hook. I got him. I just let it hit the bottom. Sat it there, give it a couple of hops. Not a monster, but he's a good one. Oh yeah, he's a cracker. No, he's pretty big. It's almost carp-like. This is a carp. It's a carp. There you go. Jeez, I wish it was a bass, it's a big one. That's off the bottom. Well, I had a two-prong attack. I was going to uh, target bass and then carp. But it looks like... That's on a... He's taking a jackal. That thing. I got a comment on one of my carp videos the other day. The guy ripped into me for killing the carp. No animal should be killed without a purpose. Well, he doesn't know I was feeding it to the foxes to stop the foxes from eating the ducks. And it was an overpopulated area that needed them taken out. I don't kill all the carp. They do have a purpose. Anyway, I'm gonna keep moving now. Now it's not a bass. That's about the size of the bass we catch here. It's not a big carp. Huh, there you go. No, it's a bass. No, it's a carp. This is where I spotted that catfish. I have a clue what that is, it's like a black ball. I'll find out what it oh. oh got him it's just a school of carp I think or is it my cat oh, I got my catfish I got it I got it I got it the ball must oh I've jagged him that ball must have been his fry oh wow how cool is this I spent two hours last time I was here trying to catch him just because of the colours in him. He's beautiful. Look at him. Bright red. I've never seen any catfish in this lake before. I know that we've got catfish around, but uh, that is amazing. That is awesome. That is one beautiful, beautiful animal. Look at him. Oh, that's made my day. It's worth coming here. I, after I was going for, oh, yes, he's just in the belly. I was going for a bass and I ended up catching a carp. Now here, oh he's gorgeous. I'm telling you, I'm just getting off of it unless he pops that hook. Guys, he 
Is that a native catfish? I just presume it is. It's just, it's got some beautiful red colours and I was telling Ben the other day when I was chasing him, I could see all these specks. Hey, 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 come on. I won't leave you out too long, buddy. Just, but he must have. It's, it was like just a, a giant black blob. Oh, come on. Hold on a sec, Kai. Thick skin. Now they do have spikes. See these here? Nasty things. I'm going to figure out letting go. Don't you fight me, mate. That is just one gorgeous fish. Now you go find the... I don't know, it's just a giant big black ball that keeps moving along the edge. That's so awesome. I seen him here, I come down here a few weeks ago on a real hot day, I got here, seen that catfish and spent, oh, two hours trying to catch him. Missed him a couple times, but today I just brought a little bit of my Nan's secret dough bait and that's why he's gone for it. That was awesome. Now I'm gonna go look for a carp as I walk up. That is a bucket loose fish. The only time I've caught catfish on lure was up up north when I was um, treating them like largemouth bass, just catch like teasing them on their beds. But that that was different, and there was big carp swimming around that black ball as well. So I don't know where the carp are trying to. It might have been bass, you know. I don't know whether they were trying to eat the the fry, or if that black ball is just a ball of. It actually looked like a, just a shitload of catfish, to tell you the truth. Technically, you can say it wasn't a catch, but uh, I'm calling it a catch. And then, when I say this is my Nan's secret dough bait, you'll probably get a few guys watching this going, oh yeah, what's so secret about this? Mate, the whole idea of the videos that I've just done lately is just to encourage a few dads and a few kids to get out on the water and have a bit of fun how we used to when we were kids. I wasn't trying to teach you guys how to fish. Felt, I felt the hook like something take that bait and then I felt it disappear and then I thought I was snagged and that's what jagged so, so if that school comes along again they'll go it again you can believe it I got my my goldfish the, cat, the catfish eel tail catfish caught a carp on a lure too easy and then I just spent this whole rest of this time trying to catch a bass couldn't do it and that's what I come here for, really. But that's what brings me back to. There's plenty here. There's two kids over there bass fishing. There's a couple of blokes behind me fishing the jetty. I think there's two kayaks out, or two rowboat things out. And a few people are just starting to turn up now. And this is just this part of the complex. This isn't. Um, the entire complex. It's much, much more casual in here too at the moment. The uh, security seems to be non-existent. The gate guy, the boom guy, lets you in easy. Um, there seems to be no dramas at all. So maybe this is a good thing for the future of the stamp. The right people working in here has to help. What a beautiful place though, eh? Oh yeah, there's a guy on a push bike there. I've seen one guy walking his dog. There's probably about 30 of us in here, maybe 35 people. And then now, it seems to be getting like it's 5.30 and this, there's more people turned up now than I've seen all day. I was all afternoon, I've been here. fish in there. Yeah it's much busier now so still pretty quiet though. Oh, and the boom gates are open too. 
But I come in here earlier and you just hit the button there and they just open them up for you. So there's no dramas there. Thanks for watching guys. Very short on this one.